Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can make uh, responsive UI in React Native with the help of Flexbox. And firstly, I want to show you the output that we will achieve with the code at the last of this video. So here you can see that this is the responsive UI with the help of Flex. So one question you can ask there, uh, like what is the meaning of uh, responsive UI? Responsive UI simply means design or layout which we create for our application should be rendered perfectly in all screen sizes. Let's say you are uh, running your application on 5 inch mobile, 6 inch mobile or 7, 8 inch tablet, right? Everywhere your uh, application UI should be perfectly uh, fine. There should be no extra scroll. There should be no extra space, white space, no text cutting, button cutting and at all, right? Now, second thing you can ask like how we can say that this is the responsive UI because currently we have only one emulator. So if we have a one small or bigger emulator, then we can maybe check, right? But there is a one more way to check it. We can just make it a uh, landscape mode there because currently uh, this mobile in the uh, portrait mode. So let me just make it in the landscape. And here you can still see that layout is still same. There is a no text cutting in left, right and bottom. There is a no uh, extra scroll at all. So let me just make it again in portrait mode. Alright, so how we can achieve it with the help of Flex? Even there is a two way to just make a responsive website in a mobile application as well as in the web. First one, we can use height and width in a percentage. Second thing, we can use Flex. And the both approach will work in mobile as well as uh, web application. We can use Flex in mobile as well as web application also. Same, we can use percentage with height and width in mobile as well as in uh, website also but preferred thing is uh, flex actually because if there is huge difference in the screen size so let's say a 10 inch tablet and 5 inch mobile that time if you are using uh, like uh, a percentage height and width and all then maybe you have to write two styles for the same component one for smaller device and the second one for larger device but in flexbox th that is actually not case right Flexbox, perfect Flexbox actually handle all UI perfectly uh, with the single style. So now let's see how we can do that. And this is not only single and last video on Flex and responsive UI. We will make one or maybe two videos uh, in upcoming time. Uh, and there we will place all things like button, text, input boxes and all with the responsive UI, right? So this is our app.js file. In our application so i am hiding this explorer so that we have more space to write the code so that uh, visibility uh, will be better first thing that we uh, need to understand like how flexbox is actually working flexbox even from the name you can understand like this is a flexible box whatever space it has whatever it can grab the size and space on screen it actually grab let me show you one example first so this is our the you can say that uh, first and main view right so let me add a style here if i'm just putting there background color and color is let's say green here you can see that this is only grab the size just outside this text but what if i'm just putting there a flex one whenever we want to apply a flex box we have to put there flex one at least even if you can put the two three or other values i'll tell you what is the meaning of that one two and three but now you can see that it will grab the whole screen area right so whenever we are applying a flex on our screen it will grab all area as i, I just mentioned you again and again it will grab the whole area that it can cover so let's say uh, let me just take a one more div there one more view there right like this still it ha it has all area if we will just uh, put the f f uh, flex on the top also top uh, view also because if you want to apply the flex uh, in the inner uh, component or inner view you must have to apply the flex one on the top box also right so first we'll just cover the whole screen and again the inner one will actually cover the whole screen but if i will just put there a simple button like this let me just uh, clear out it. Let me add the title. So let's say button. And I need to import it also. 
then you can see that this button is placed at the bottom so it will just give the uh, size to the other components that they actually need and other old uh, area that they, they will be grabbed automatically right here you can see that so if we have two buttons then it will grab the other area rather than these two buttons all right so that's why this is flexible let me show you one uh, some more examples uh, to better understanding so first thing that you need to know if you want to just make your application responsive on the top of your view or to any top wrapper you must have to provide the flex one otherwise the inner side uh, will uh, the flex will not work on the inner views or inner uh, elements so again i am just uh, taking a view there right and let's say i am putting some style there uh, let's say background color is red and putting their flex one as you know it will grab all screen and if i will put one more same view parallel to it and the color will be green then it will just divide the screen in a two equal ratio because there is a two flex first flex will came, uh, came the 50 percent second flex will came the will take the 50 percent because they are actually both are flex and they have to divide the screen in the equal ratio here you can see that and if we have one more uh, flex like third one uh, with the blue color that time it will see the screen will be divided in the three equal parts okay the now the question is what is the meaning of flex one here flex means flex one means it will uh, let's say there is a three flexes in a single row so if we will we will provide the flex two to the any flex then it will cover the double area to the other flexes and here you can see that now the red in the double area and if i'll just put there five then it will cover the five time area rather than the other flexes here you can see that right so let me make it two here and one more thing okay so now we can uh, just uh, use a style sheet to use the style because there is a lots of style so what i'm going to do there i'm just importing their style sheet and let me write there a const styles equal to style sheet dot create like this and then i can create a main box and we can say that flex one for it and we can we can apply this main flex on the top of our wrapper so let me put there styles dot main and this is still working fine we can grab uh, the style from inner first view and let me just give the name box one and let apply the style there and styles dot box one we can apply there and similarly we can just copy and paste it let's say box two and box three color could be let's say green and blue and at last we can put their commas and now we can just simply apply these styles or you can see that we can apply style with uh, internal style sheet right let me put there two and three perfectly fine now the thing is let's say uh, they are in a these are in a single row like from top to bottom and if you want to just uh, put the layout from left to right or right right to left then you can simply use flex direction and it should be applied on the top or parent view of uh, all these boxes right so let me just put their row now you can see that they are on the like this way they are on the uh, uh, from left to right way perfect so i don't need this so i'm just removing it i just want to show you that that's why i just applied there so let me remove it for a moment okay so the next thing is let me just uh, put the flex one for uh, green and blue box so now in inside the red box you want to create some other boxes and the direction of these boxes should be left to right then how you can do that 
simply first of all let's create a view inside them so let's say view one and uh, there let me create the style uh, styles dot inner box one right and let me create box two and three two and three and now i have to define these boxes also right so put inner box one after comma inner box two and last one is inner box three here we go so again uh, if i am just saving them you can still there this is actually overriding the uh, other screen right so how we can just uh, fix it firstly let's mention the different color let's say blue and uh, sky blue to the second and let's say orange to the last one and here you can see that again we have these three rows and let's say if you want to just uh, provide the margin to all of them so that there is some like difference uh, lining between them so that we can identify these are the uh, different boxes right so for that let's say provide some margin there and now you can see that we have the red boxes behind them and now these three boxes and as i told you if you want to just uh, give the direction from left, left to right to the parent box we have to just apply the direction and the parent boxes of these three boxes is flex box uh, box one so i am just putting there flex direction row and here you can you can see that we got that right and if you want to just uh, move them from with the portrait to landscape then still working fine even we just never mention anywhere height and width right that means this is perfectly uh, responsive you can run it on the any screen size 10 inch device 5 inch device whatever you want right so that's all and thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any confusion any query you can ask me in the comment box thank you guys thank you so much and this is uh, my paytm number for donation